Good afternoon viewers, welcome back again to this channel. In this video, we are going to be working on this walling almas. Stay tuned. For those who are unaware of having an overheating engine, it will affect the performance of the vehicle, loss of engine power will make the car into limp mode or safe mode, or even worse, it would potentially fry your piston and ruin the whole engine. Rightio, let's go to work. Make sure the engine bay has cooled down before we work on the car. So to find your thermostat location, find your upper radiator hose, follow it down right into the engine and you will see your thermostat housing. And now we can go ahead and drain the old coolant. With this vehicle, there's only two bolts securing the thermostat assembly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah. Thank you. 
and now we can start up the car and let it warm it up to normal running temperature then cycle the coolant by turning on the heater to hot mode for a couple of minutes and let's run a basic test with my OBD2 reader and we are going to monitor the coolant temperature This is just my two cent. It would be rather nice if the car manufacturer had thought and installed the colder temp thermostat in the first place. It would make more sense for the vehicle are sold in the hotter climate country. And before the upgrade, the old thermostat during idle, after driving for about 10 minutes, it's sitting at about 86 degrees Celsius. Whereas the new thermostat at idle, after driving for about 10 minutes, it is sitting at about 79 to 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, and that is a wrap for today's video guys. I hope you find this video useful and if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button for me to give your full support and I will see you again on the next video. Peace!